Masada Deuteronomy Language, Hebrew Date, before 73 AD Location, Masada Deuteronomy 33, 17 The firstborn of his herd, majesty is his, his horns are the horns of the wild ox, with them he will push all the peoples to the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousands of Ephraim, they are the thousands of Manasseh. 18 About Zebulun he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and Issachar, in your tents. 19 They will call the peoples to the mountain, there they will offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they will draw out the abundance of the seas, the hidden treasures of the sand. 20 About Gad he said, He who enlarges Gad is blessed, he dwells as a lioness, and tears the arm, yes, the crown of the head. 21 He provided the first part for himself. For the lawgiver's portion reserved was reserved for him. He came with the heads of the people. He executed the righteousness of Yahweh, his ordinances with Israel. 22 about Dan he said, Dan is a lion's cub, that leaps out of Bashan. 23 about Naphtali he said, Naphtali, satisfied with favor, full of Yahweh's blessing, possessed the west and the south. 24 about Asher he said, Asher is blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brothers. Let him dip his foot in oil. Deuteronomy 34, 2 and all Naphtali and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, to the western sea, three, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, to Zor for Yahweh said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your offspring. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not go over there. Five, so Moses, the servant of Yahweh, died there in the land of Moab. According to Yahweh's word, six, he buried him in the valley in the land of Moab opposite Beth Peor. But no man knows where his tomb is to this day. Nahal Hever Deuteronomy Language, Hebrew Date, before 135 AD Location, Nahal Hever Deuteronomy 9 4 Don't say in your heart, after Yahweh your God has thrust them out from before you, saying, For my righteousness Yahweh has brought me in to possess this land, because Yahweh drives them out before you, because of the wickedness of these nations. 5 Not for your righteousness, or for the uprightness of your heart, do you go in to possess their land? But for the wickedness of these nations Yahweh your God does drive them out from before you, and that he may establish the word which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. 6 Know therefore, that Yahweh your God doesn't give you this good land to possess for your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. 7 Remember, and don't forget, how you provoked Yahweh your God to wrath in the wilderness. From the day that you left the land of Egypt, until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against Yahweh. 21 I took your sin, the calf which you had made and burned it with fire, and crushed it, grinding it very small, until it was as fine as dust. I threw its dust into the brook that descended out of the mountain 22 at Taborah, and at Massa, and at Kibroth Hadavah, you provoked Yahweh to wrath 23 when Yahweh sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you. You rebelled against the commandment of Yahweh your God, and you didn't believe him, nor listen to his voice. Wadi Morabat Deuteronomy Language, Hebrew Date before 135 AD Location, Wadi Morabat, Deuteronomy 10, 1 At that time Yahweh said to me, Cut two stone tablets like the first, and come up to me onto the mountain, and make an ark of wood. 2 I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. 3 So I made an ark of acacia wood, and cut two stone tablets like the first, and went up onto the mountain, having the two tablets in my hand. Deuteronomy 11, 2 Know this day, for I don't speak with your children, who have not known, and who have not seen the chastisement of Yahweh your God, his greatness, his mighty hand, his outstretched arm, three his signs, and his works, which he did in the middle of Egypt to Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and to all his land. Deuteronomy 12, 25 You shall not eat it, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you, when you shall do that, which is right in Yahweh's eyes. 26, only your holy things which you have, and your vows, you shall take, and go to the place which Yahweh shall choose. Deuteronomy 15, 2 This is the way it shall be done, Every creditor shall release that, which he has lent to his neighbor. He shall not require payment from his neighbor and his brother, because Yahweh's release has been proclaimed.